right. Uh, good morning to the hockey family. It is Monday, February the 12th, 2024. Uh, we hope you had a nice weekend. Uh, Super Bowl Sunday, of course, uh, yesterday. Uh, I know I'm not alone in wishing it was Super Bowl Saturday. Yeah, you know, like my, my kids have to go to you know school this morning. And um, gosh, yeah, I, was, I haven't visited with my wife since, but gosh, it, it could have been a challenging morning at the Kroll house trying to get the kids ready to go. And we only stayed till halftime uh, last night, right? It's just uh, on the East Coast, it gets it gets late. But um, we hope you had a nice weekend. Uh, quickly, I just wanted to bring up this morning, uh, there is some proposed tax legislation here in the States, right? So uh, just passed the, uh, the House of Representatives now being sent to the US Senate. Okay, they're calling it the Tax Relief American Families and Workers Act. Um, those of you that have been working with us for a while know we, we don't want to dig too much into the weeds until things become law. And really, kind of the two primary areas that the, the proposed legislation is touching on really shouldn't impact uh, like hockey families too much, right? So, so the the one area they are looking to expand the child tax credit, but but there's income phase outs, right? So yeah, that'll primarily only be helping kind of lower income families. The second part that could potentially help hockey families, um, not necessarily those who are still playing, but but you know m many of the, the the people we help, the guys and families we help, like after hockey, they might start new businesses, right? So so for business owners, um, a bonus depreciation increase, okay, where you would be able to depreciate 100% of capital assets, uh, you know, qualifying assets. So that, that that's definitely you know a net positive for for business owners out there. Uh, and again, we'll just see the way it plays out. We'll, we'll be keeping a close eye on it. Uh, last week in global financial markets, um, relatively quiet. Okay, this week I would certainly expect more volatility. Uh, Tuesday we have the U.S. inflation data coming out, the CPI. Later in the week we get retail sales, producer price index, also some uh, consumer confidence data. So. Uh, we'll see the way. Oh, and if you have not scheduled your uh, spring review yet, please do. You don't want to get on Gawler's Natty List. So uh, we hope you have a nice week. Thanks.